It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've hit a landmark. Another landmark review. It's Video Beer Review 2500. Can you believe it? We're a quarter of a way to 10,000 video beer reviews on YouTube. And I'm absolutely determined to get there. 2,500. We've got something really special today. I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersreviewed.co.uk, for sending us the beer. Um, they've been a great channel sponsor. They, they covered Video Beer Review 2000 with a 41 year old bottle of Thomas Harley barley wine. And 2,500, they've come up with the goods again. It's Firestone Walker's Sakuba Vintage 2015. It's a barrel aged barley wine ale. Um, I don't know the ABV to be honest uh, because it's not written on the box. I hope it's written on the bottle. Um, so without further ado, as always, it's all about the beer, not about me talking. So let's get the beer out. And show you guys what we have. I'm looking for the ABV. 13.3% ABV. Wow, this is going to be awesome. So there we are then, first on work at Sakuba. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I was, i tell you what I did, I got, a, I got a, a wine cork and a bottle opener today. I didn't know whether it was going to be a wine cork, but it's actually a, a nice, nice easy bottle cap. There is the bottle cap. Let's crack this one open. Look at the smoke. Lovely smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. <clears throat> oh my goodness me, look at this. For a bar barley wine it's really dark. Nicely carbonated. As you would fully expect for a 13.3% ABV, it's going to be very difficult to, to get a head on the beer. So, look at that for a beer. Doesn't that look dazzling? Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's, it's an in-between with the colour of the beer. It's in-between an imperial stout and a, and a barley wine. It's got the redness of the barley wine. It's also got the, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of roasted malt in here. Looks fabulous, very clear. Let's get the aroma. Mmm. Wow. Picking up that barrel age whiskey tone. Oaky. Little nutty, little roasted. A little bit of cherry in there. Cherry oak maybe. Vanilla. This smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers to you all. Oh my goodness me. My goodness me. Wow. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows were an absolutely wonderful beer. I really wanted to kind of scream that out after the first taste, but I wanted to take, compose myself and take a second sip just to really take in all of them wonderful flavors. There's, there's some kind of like a coconutty flavor in there. You get the cherry, you get vanilla, of course you get that kind of slightly sweet barley wine flavour. It, it's a mixture of a typical English barley wine and something else. Like a, it's a barrel aged version so you're getting a lot of vanilla in there. As I said, cherry. There's a little bit of roasted malt in there which is absolutely fantastic. But that little, that little bit of coconut flavour in there just does it for me. It's wonderful. Now, 
Now then, now then, do you know what the trick is here? The trick is there's so many flavours in the beer, natural flavours, that even though it tastes slightly boozy, and you wouldn't expect anything else for a 13.3% ABV beer, it carries it off. It works. It really works. I'm not standing here like I have in the past. I've had some 10% barley wines and I've had some 10% imperial sauce and they've been unbelievably boozy, really boozy. And they've been downright unpleasant. When I when I opened the cardboard box and when I when I pulled the beer out and I and I read on the bottle 13.3%, I instantly thought to myself, wow. That's a big ass beer. Can it pull it off? And and it's just amazing that it has. As I'm talking now, I'm getting a warming in the throat, a warming as the beer goes down into the pit of my stomach. So you get the, the you do get the alcohol effect, but it's really well hidden in the beer. So yeah, stone the crows. Let's pick it up and let's get in again. The carbonation on the beer hisses and fizzes and it's like a violent snake in your mouth. It needs that. If this was flat, it would be bogged down by it would be too heavy. And again, the secret of, of, of a really good beer is to get everything right, which is, I know that sounds obvious to some of you guys, but to get that big, bold carbonation really does work because it, it, it makes the beer alive. It brings the beer to life. It's oaky, it's woody, it's cherryish. Yes, there's, as I said, there's coconut and there's vanilla. There's roasted malt in there, unbelievably. It's, it's, it's a little bit of that coffee and chocolate in there. It's a truly staggering beer. Um, easily, and I mean this because I am not a huge fan of barley wines, I will admit that, I kind of never really kind of got round to drinking them. I've, I've had them in, in my cupboard down there, but I just never really got round. I always seem to kind of wait six months and, oh, it's a barley wine, it's not really my favourite, but, but this has changed everything. This really has changed everything for me in the way that what a barley wine can be, what it could be, if all of the ingredients, if all of the pieces come together. That is Firestone Walker Sakuba 2015 vintage. And that, for video beer review, 2,500. And that's a big milestone for me. It's, I will, I will admit, as I, I do everything myself, everything. I do a little bit of editing, take all the pictures for the thumbnails. Um, I do everything and it's been, next month it'll be six years. Six years reviewing beer on YouTube and it's been a real love affair. Hard work, difficult at times, but it's been a real love affair. I've really enjoyed myself and I'm still enjoying myself. I wouldn't do it if I wasn't enjoying myself. Um, but this, I just feel that, that this beer really has shook my hand tonight. It's kind of patted me on the shoulder and said, well done, my friend, for getting to Video Beer Review 2500. Um, yeah, it's been six years. It's been a wonderful experience. I, uh, of course, plan to carry on. 10,000 maybe? Let's see if we can get there. This is a rating. Let's rate this beer. Firestone Walker 2015 Sakuba Vintage for me is an easy, without a shadow of a doubt, 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk and cheers.